Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to the channel. It's a bright Wednesday morning over here. This fall decor has made me way more excited about the mornings. I really thought by now the weather would be a little bit more cool. However, if I'm recollecting my memories correctly, last year and the year before, I didn't start getting cool in Arizona until the end of October. But it's only October 2nd and it's 90 degrees. It's 86 degrees right now and it's 8.30 in the morning. I'm getting way off topic. None of that even matters right now. Okay, I literally could just talk about nonsense and sense. Nonsense and sense? What's the opposite of nonsense? See, here I go. Opposite of nonsense. Sense. Talk, 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 talk. Okay, okay, I'm talking too much about things that aren't related to this video, so let's get on with this video. So per the promises I have kept, I have some things we can bake together. I have quite a few things that we could bake, but I'm contemplating on which one it is that we want to bake. And I would say I need your help, but physically you're not here, which means ultimately I'm gonna have to make this decision on my own. I also have brownies in here, but I think we'll be making brownies next time. Wait, have we made brownies together yet? I don't think we have. I just told you about it. <gasps> okay, so we'll have to make brownies here soon. Let me show you what I have now that we can bake together. Okay, here are the options that we have. I was wanting to make the pumpkin bread and muffin baking mix, but I think we might save that for a day coming soon. So I'm tempted on doing one of these, but I'm also just kind of leaning more towards this one because this is what just sounds good this morning. I don't remember getting both of these. I thought I put this one back because I decided I was gonna get this one, but then I also kind of remember I might as well just get all three of these because you're gonna be doing more baking stuff. So I don't know. I just wanna save this one for, like I said, a day coming soon. And then this one, it just seems kind of like plain Jane right now. It says just add eggs, oil, and water, but I feel like I just have to add eggs, oil, and water for all of these. So this just sounds really good. All we need is two large eggs, a cup of vegetable oil, and three fourth cups of water. Feel like that's pretty dang easy. So really, oh, and also, Wait, where is that thing? How big of a pan do I need? That might be a problem. Loaf pan directions. Preheat conventional oven to 350, an eight inch loaf pan. <laughs> Blessed be the name. This is an eight inch loaf pan. <laughs> I can't believe it. Is this like the standard pan to have? I actually thought that I was, I actually, I really didn't think that I was gonna have the right pan. That's all. What do I need for this one? It says I needed nine to five, nine times five. A nine to five pan with butter or cooking spray. This one I need a nine to five, nine by five. I think it's nine by five. Nine by five loaf pan. That I do not have. That we will have to order. Wow, see, everything always works out. It just works out because clearly I didn't even have the right pan for these two. But I somehow miraculously have the right pan for this banana loaf mix. Let's get it cooking. Let's get it baking. banana bread mix, our oil, our handy dandy whisk, our grade A large white eggs, and our measuring cups that I still have yet to figure out how to use. First it says you need to preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I need to do, wait, oh, I'm just pouring all of this into the bowl. There is no portions. Wait, where? Caramelized banana upside down cake. <gasps> Gosh, that actually looks so good. Wait, how do I do that? Coconut, okay, I have the spray. I need one cup of unsalted butter melted, three fourths cup of brown sugar packed, five medium ripe bananas peeled and sliced, dang it. All right, we're gonna be making that cake soon for sure. That sounds so good. You guys know me, I love my bananas. My bananas right now are all frozen, so I can't do that. This is next, this is, well, it's not next next, but this is on our list. Okay, so I'm just gonna use the whole pack. <sighs> Loaf 
both band directions. You will need, yeah, I know. Lightly butter a spray mm -hmm. in a medium mold. Add the dry ingredients to the liquid and stir with a large spoon just until the ingredients are combined. A few specks of dry mix may remain. Deposit into the microwave and bake for about 40 minutes or until dark. All right. Got a behind the scenes. Look it. Right, now what do we do? We mix it. Who have I become? Honestly, who have I become? I am so proud of myself for doing the basic things. Because beforehand, you know, I like before knowing that there's really only like four ingredients here. I thought there was probably like 12. <laughs> That's pretty good. I'm so excited. I can't believe I'm baking. Uh, this is so fun. And the fact that I'm not doing it by myself and I have someone like I can share with. Do you guys hear the garbage truck? I was saying I am happy to be doing this because I now have someone I can share it with and someone I can like share my 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 batch with I what is that I know what I'm trying to say but I can't say it I think this is mixed up and we can now start pouring it into the pan this is gonna be so good Aesthetic. away as I go because there'll be less of a mess and less for me to have to think about when I'm done doing what it is that I'm doing because I had to re preheat my oven because I had to it's ready okay instructions said to set timer for 40 minutes one hour 21 hours no 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 it's a cool sound 40 minutes and start. Perfect. I made a TikTok about this and I just posted it and it was something that I actually learned at church this last Sunday. And then when I got back from church, I, I actually heard um, a similar word. Anxiousness and gratitude cannot occupy the same space. Meaning you cannot feast on anxiousness and gratitude at the same time. And I'm gonna tell you why. Your gratitude stems from your faith and your faith is in the Lord where your hope also is. And what you have within the Lord is a relationship, a relationship in whom he tells you to not be anxious for anything because nothing good comes from anxiousness. Nothing good comes from worrying. So you can't be in gratitude and also entertain the lie of deceit, manipulation, confusion. You can't entertain both tables. You can't entertain both masters. You can't have two dinners. You can't have two feasts. You choose one or the other. The thing about rejoicing and having gratitude is that when you fill your mind with gratitude and thankfulness of the Lord and, and what he's done for you and what he's doing, even though you can't see, even though you can't feel it, when you put yourself in that mindset, when you put yourself in that position to do the act of rejoicing, it blocks out the enemy. There's no room for the enemy to access you because you're 
in communion, you're in communication with the Lord. The, the enemy can't intervene with that. There's no room for him. There's no room unless you give him access. Giving him access would be focusing on the things that you can't see, focusing on the things that you feel, focusing on the ways that you feel, focusing on things that look impossible, focusing on things that are out of your control, focusing on the fact that you don't have control over something, focusing on anything other than the Lord. When you're focused on primarily only what you see, when you're focused on the circumstances that don't make sense and you're just trying to figure it out on your own and you're in worry and you're in fear that nothing's going to go your way, things aren't going to work out, things aren't going to go as planned, does the Lord really have me, blah, 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 blah. That is the enemy gaining access to you to only feed you more lives. And those are only snacks. That's not even the full feast. So if we rebuke that and we repent and turn our mind back to the Lord, giving him thankfulness and rejoicing in the fact that he's already brought us this far and rejoicing in the fact that he's only bringing us from glory to glory. And he tells us that his plans for us are to have hope in a future and not to harm us, right? He says, no weapon formed against you shall prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. He tells us to not worry about tomorrow for today has enough troubles of its own. He tells us to not be anxious for anything. He tells us that we can plan our steps, but he will guide our steps. So what are we doing? What are we doing thinking that we can occupy Hi. Both tables, we can't do that. Both tables are gonna have dinner served for us, right? But we get to choose which table we're gonna feast at. And I don't know about you, but I choose to rejoice and be glad in my trials and tribulations. Even up until the point that it looks impossible, where it seems impossible, because I know that that's where the Lord can break through. That's where the Lord can show his miracles the most. That's where God is going to show up and show out. And it is through trials and tribulations that produces perseverance. And perseverance is what we need in order to fulfill the purpose that the Lord has for us here on earth, to give glory back to him. So rejoice in your trials and tribulations because it produces perseverance and perseverance produces a harvest and a harvest is what we need. When you're in your secret place and you're praying to the Lord and you're rejoicing and giving thanks to him all day long, the enemy has no ability to access you. Yeah, he can send you intrusive thoughts. Well, bind them, bind them and take them captive and put them at the feet of Jesus immediately. That's what repenting is. Changing your mindset, turning away, turning away, doing a 180. It's hard. I'm not saying that you're never gonna have fear again. I'm not saying that you're never gonna have doubt again. I'm not gonna say that you're not gonna experience these things again, but it's important to recognize that once you start to, to see these feelings arise or these thoughts arise, that's when you need to take immediate action and choose Jesus and instead of worrying, be thankful for the glory that he's already given you. Be thankful for the victory that's already won within him. Be thankful for where he's already brought you from. It's hard, I can't say it's it's not hard because the enemy is loud, right? He's loud, he comes for your mind and your mind is loud, it's loud. But if you go to Jesus, he knows how to make it still. He knows how to calm it. He knows how to send you peace that surpasses all understanding, right? And when he sends us that peace, we in return give thanks. And that is what gratitude is because that will drown out the enemy as much time with Jesus as you need in order for those lies to be gone. Anyways, that's my TED talk. I hope that helped. So I forgot to spray coconut oil on the pan until my timer stopped. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I think I pressed like pause or whatever. I looked at it a while ago and it just wasn't going. It was still stuck on 39 minutes. Okay, so we got to take it out of the oven right now. Get my mitts. <gasps> Banana bread, okay, it's not looking too bad. Maybe it's a little brown. Okay, it might, I didn't even turn off the oven. It might not be too bad. That's what it looks like. That's about right. Like I would assume the top is going to be brown, more brown than the inside, right? I'll wait for it to cool off and then we'll cut into it. back where I cut it out. You need to scoot over, thank you. <laughs> it just looks so stupid. <laughs> oh my gosh, my tie is coming up. Oh my gosh, that is so freaking funny. All right, let's try it. I feel like it might be a little dry. Wait, actually, it's not as moist as it could be. This is pretty stinking good. And I think maybe next time I could just put the actual like banana slices in here and maybe some vanilla extract. Put some whipped cream on here. And the bottom isn't even burnt. Okay. Well, <laughs> it looks burnt to you, but it's really not, I promise. You there you go, you can kind of tell. It looks burnt that way, but it's not burnt. And it didn't even really stick to the pan, so that's great. I mean, it's not the best thing I've ever had, but it's good. I wouldn't go to the store and buy this. Ooh, you can make a strawberry shortcake. 
out of this. If I have to rate it, well, I don't have to, I don't have to, but if I had to, maybe a five. <laughs> I think I did everything correctly. Like nothing's wrong with it. I think I just next time would want to add vanilla extract and actual banana slices to like make it more moist. That's it, because it's just dry. Like kind of, just the outside is dry. The inside is not bad. Maybe a six. I don't know. We did it, guys. We did it. That's all I have for you. I love you. If you have any um, recipes or any pastries that you think would be great for me to make, please, le pl pl please let me know down in the comments because instead of me just making things that are just out of the box too, I would like to find things that I have to go out and get as far as ingredients goes. Like when you're on Pinterest and it says, get this, get this, like banana pudding. <gasps> that sounds good too. I just love bananas. I just love bananas. So if you have any recipes or ideas that you want me to make and you want me to bake and you want me to cook, maybe don't cook, but bake, let me know in the comments and then maybe I could get the ball rolling with one of them. Thank you for being here. Thanks for watching me bake. I've had a lot of fun. I love you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to let me know what I should make next and I will see you in the next video.